If I didn't implement this, I would have made a doom scrolling machine. This is day 5 of coding a Pomodoro timer app with my own twist. Yesterday I finally started with the brain rot short from video reward. Today I continued it by first getting a whole playlist of YouTube shorts. I was going to make my own playlist but then I stumbled across the YouTuber Joe Kane. He's the guy who speedruns through the shorts and he has a playlist with over 200 videos in it. So immediately I thought this was a goldmine for the shorts and I decided to use this playlist as the reward for now. After getting the playlist in and testing it, I noticed that it always placed the videos in the exact same order. So my next mission was figuring out how to shuffle the playlist so that the user doesn't have to watch the same videos again and again. Kinda sucky as a reward if you ask me. What should have taken a few minutes took me an hour to figure out. This is because I kept trying out different ways to write the code when the problem was never the syntax. It was logical from the start. I tried this way, then I tried that way, I asked ChatGPT what to do, and I tried what it gave me. None of them worked. Every time I clicked the rewards button, always the same video playing. Then I took a look at the link of the video on YouTube and realized it used indexing. I realized what the mistake was. Of course it would be playing the same video if the link has the same index every time. Luckily, the API has an index variable. So I randomized it in my code and fixed it. It could have been done in less than 5 minutes, but it took me over an hour. After that I just fixed all the buttons because at the time they did not do anything when the videos were playing. So those were just a few function calls. I ended up making new functions and divs for the restriction of the video when the user tries to pause the timer. Yeah that's right, you can't loophole your way out of this one. So it took a bit of trial and error with the blocker div, but eventually I got it right and now the video is paused and blocked whenever the break timer is paused. If I didn't implement this, I would have made a doom scrolling machine. That's all I accomplished for this video. Since today I told myself I'll do the bare minimum. Still felt like I did a lot today, so that's another win. In the next video, I plan on polishing up the brain rot feature and starting on the next part of the app. As usual, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and follow for part 6.